hit the subscribe button. Or don't. I really don't care one way or the other. Welcome everybody to my latest video. So for this video, obviously we have something a little bit different, something that's not necessarily arcade related. Um, I guess if you do the whole six degrees of separation, it could be. But if you know how to read, then you know what this video is about. Essentially, this is a video about my new Nerf gun. Now I purchased two of these. Uh, one of them is still sealed. One of them I opened up to a quick look at. at that is this one. I eventually plan to send this out to get custom painted, but, you know, this is the box it arrives in. I ordered two of them, so it was two of these inside of a giant box, but you get the point. So let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Now I've already seen open it up before a little bit, um, but yeah, so we have... There we go. This was actually taped down on the bottom. Slides right off. The M41A pulse rifle, is that correct? Hold on, let me check. Let me take a look. All right, that looks to be correct. The M41A pulse rifle. Here we got uh, aliens. Nerf Limited. Now I bid, I did buy two of these, um, and I came across them completely by accident. But let's take a look at the case here. It's kind of made to look like a gun case. Look at that. Let's see, can what happens if I turn off the light here? Is that better? Maybe not quite such a reflection. Yeah, I think that's much better. Let's move this over just a little bit. All right. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice. Let's uh, take a look. Ooh. That's pretty nice. Take a look at that. Very cool. Now we look down here. Look at that. That is awesome. I don't know if it's one for one scale. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I don't know. I came across this accidentally. I just happened to be going, uh, I was looking on the Game, GameStop ad, or excuse me, website. I never go to that site at all. I just don't. Um, I usually get my games elsewhere. And I thought, well, I'm going to you know, check and see if they have anything, any retro stuff. And I guess I must have selected the toy section or whatever, and I saw this. Buy it now for, uh, you know, reservation. Pay, you know, pay when it's ready to ship. I was like, yep, I'm going to get two. This one I plan to send out to get custom painted to look like the real pulse rifle, green colors. The other one I'll probably just leave sealed. I don't know. Um, yeah, I always wanted something like this. For the longest time, ever since I started collecting arcades in my game room, I wanted to have a replica pulse rifle. It's just I can never come to agree with the prices that were being asked at the time. And it was just something I was like, no, no, it's just too much, not worth it. These things were 100 bucks each. Nice. Look at that. Ooh, batteries you could turn on, possibly. 
What else is in here? Is there anything else in here? Let's see. Of course something else has got to be in here. We're looking for the actual Nerf darts or whatever you want to call them. I assume they're going to be in here. Yep. Look at that. Three. Got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Nice. Got your instructions. That side happens to be in Spanish. So let me go ahead and uh, add batteries to this and we'll take it from there. Or I assume it takes batteries. I don't know. We'll see. All right, first up, it takes four C batteries. Just unscrew right there, lift the top, install your batteries. So yeah, four C batteries, man. That seems a little excessive. Just uh, load the darts here. At least I assume this is how you load them. Alright, what's cool, so I loaded all 10 darts, if I had only 9 darts, you can change the number right there. Pumping it up. Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see that again. Let's move this stuff out of the way. All right, so got that out of the way. Let's try the triggers right there. And I'm doing what am I doing wrong? Hold on. Aha. Uh -huh. Load another one. <laughs> That's really cool. Focus. It in I 
That's really nice. In order to pull the trigger, you gotta hold this butt bad boy down. Focus. Now obviously that's just a counter, so there's nothing in here right now. I like this, this is really cool. Hold on, let me reload again. Alright, let's put in our grenade. Got our clip. Aiming at Pluto. And let's go. Really, really cool. I like it. I'm going to like it even more when I get it custom painted. Um, the one thing that I don't like is there doesn't seem to be an off switch. Let's see. In fact, let me uh, cut right now. Alright, still haven't found any on off switch but this is pretty cool if you got any stuck darts you just lift this bad boy up and yeah try and get them out if you remove the clip there you go you can see it very nice Yo, just imagine if they made a Nerf smart gun. That would that would be awesome. All right, let me continue to look to see if I can find an off switch. All right, so there doesn't seem to be any off button per se. It's just one of those things where you, you don't do anything for X amount of time and it'll automatically turn off. Would have preferred an off button, but oh well. But like I said, it... it it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, once this is painted, it's going to go up on my wall. Nice display piece. The other one I'm going to keep sealed um, and maybe hold on to it, sell it at a profit at a future date, or who knows. But yeah, so there you are. There's probably other videos such as this. I guarantee they're much better than my video. Can we? And look at this. You can go up. If you hold the button down, eventually, mega numbers. There we go, 99. Just like in the movie. <laughs> Pretty cool. What happens with no clip? Nothing. Really, really cool. I mean, this is... Chances are people who cosplay as Colonial Marines, they're going to be purchasing these and, you know, doing their own thing to it, I, I would think. I don't know. I'm not into cosplaying. But, yeah, so there you are. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. <laughs>